just about two weeks, there's something happening here in Detroit to promote entrepreneurship. This is where the jobs of the future are and to cultivate the great ideas for our city as we move forward. It's called the Urban Entrepreneurship Symposium. Joining us today, David Tarver, a technology entrepreneur, Leslie Smith, the president and CEO of Tech Town, and also Michael Levin, senior developer with Loveland Technologies. If you detect a theme here, uh, it is about technology and innovating and creating the future here in Detroit. David, you've been one of those guys who has taken that German of an idea and watched it explode and grow. What is the key uh, for anybody out there that's sitting on an idea but they just don't know how to take it and go with it? That's what we want to introduce people to, how they can take those ideas, particularly those ideas that are aimed at making life better in our cities and take that and develop it into something that really uh, does good and also is profitable. Okay, now Leslie, you've worked with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, a lot of the people that are you know, helping to get these things to grow. They're the, they're the cultivators and farmers in our economy. Uh, what will be the role of people like Tech Town and MEGC? So um, we see our role as supporting all of the folks like David and Michael who are creating the ideas that solve the most pressing problems, getting them access to talent and capital and all the services they need to actually grow those businesses here in our city, answering our most desperate questions. How are we doing right now? Because, you know, we talk a lot about the fact, you know, some people don't like to see uh, tax cuts because that's helping business. We need to be putting that money elsewhere. But how are we doing with job creation right now? And, and helping these companies grow. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of job creation at the small business level. So we're seeing one, two, three per small company that are sort of blowing up all around. But that's the where city. the most growth is, that right? Is Not the, the big Fortune 500 is. guys. Exactly. So we we suffered a great loss from the big guys, but the small guys are filling the gaps. All right, David, you're one of those guys that is is a developer and and is one of the startups and upstarts. What has been key for you in taking this to the next level and, and what are you looking forward to, uh, to learning more about in this entrepreneurship uh, symposium? Um, so I'm speaking at the symposium and it's, it's been very interesting going forward and, and working with Loveland as we've had actual buy-in and, and feedback from the city to help push our, our stuff forward. I'm sorry I called you David, it's Michael. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, my hard drive is crashing, <laughs> unfortunately. No I, I'll speak in your terminology. Uh, but in terms of, of what you need and what others like you need, we've mm -hmm. seen uh, Dan Gilbert with the Madison building, uh, you know, building this environment. How are we doing in Detroit with making this a welcoming place for Tech Town and competing with the Silicon Valleys and the mm -hmm. Massachusetts corridors and folks like that? I think it's uh, a world of difference than it was even a few years ago. Um, definitely seeing a lot more uh, co-working spaces and things like that open up and Tech Town is doing their junction 440. So that's because awesome. a lot of these guys don't have two nickels to rub together. They need right. to put every penny they have into their business and you need an affordable space, right? Yep. All right. Well, uh, what, are, what else are we going to learn at this symposium? Well, one of the things is we want to focus people on a few things. One is that this is a national issue and an international issue. This, this issue of people moving to cities, you know, as of a few years ago, there are more people in cities uh, than there are in other areas. Mm -hmm. And so we need to forge solutions that improve life in cities and entrepreneurs can be key to that. Another thing we want people to understand is that there are people like Loveland out there already solving these problems on a sm small scale and also on a large scale. One of the speakers at the conference is uh, Mike White from Uber, which is a right. $20 billion company that's solving an urban problem. So these, these urban solutions aren't just small companies. Uh, they're really solving problems and making life better. Well, and you saw that it's going to be at, in Ann Arbor at the Gerald R. Ford uh, Presidential Library. I noticed you've got your maize and blue tie on. So <laughs> what can I say? You're, you're, uh, Go the, blue. The host, the host will be welcoming you, I'm sure. Uh, in the meantime, thank you you so much for doing this because I was at the Michigan Auto Summit yesterday and the one thing they said that is key to us staying in the forefront in the auto industry too is technology definitely because that's where the growth innovation part of this is innovation and, is and the innovation key. and drawing talent here so thanks for doing that thank you all right here